Hey, Adam, just what's it been like kind of having another Kubiak running the offense so far? And, and are there any kind of noticeable differences in terms of how he likes to run the show? Yeah, it's been really good. You know, I think, uh, you know, obviously we all know him. Uh, he's been around us and, and, you know, had had a voice before this year. So that that's really good. You know, I think guys are comfortable with that. Uh, but, you know, I think what he's done really well is he's just, you know, he's the guy. He's our leader. Um, he's It's his playbook. It's his plays. Um, he's made, you know, slight adjustments um, and, you know, tried to implement, you know, his offense. And it's it's not his his dad's or, or last year's offense. This is the 2021 Vikings offense. And he's done a great job of, of implementing that, uh, preparing us, and uh, getting us ready to go for training camp. We'll go Joe Schmidt and then Sam. Yes, Adam, I'm just wondering, as a player, how um, – Happy you are to see some of the developments that this team has done in the offseason from the draft on through free agency, uh, obviously trying to improve the offensive line and uh, the defense. Yeah, it's exciting. You know, this time of year, um, I guess it's, it's all you could ask for um, as, as a player. Um, you know, I think the coaching staff and the, the uh, you know, the scouts and, and uh, everybody in management has done a great job of just making this team better from, from uh, getting guys in here, uh, whether it be the draft, free agency, uh, things like that, and then and then now it's our job to get better. The guys that have been here, um, you know, we have to do our job of, of of preparing, getting better, and and really helping this team get to where we want to be. Because at the end of the day, we don't want to be um, you know sitting at home watching the playoffs. Uh, we want to be there and 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 moving on and and making um, you know these Vikings fans happy and and getting getting to the place where where everybody wants to get and and finish the deal. Yeah, Adam, just a couple quick ones on Justin Jefferson. Um, first off, do you see anything new from him, you know, coming back to practice now in year two? Yeah, just confidence. You know, he, he knows uh, what he's capable of. He knows what this offense is capable of. And, and he's just out there having fun, playing football like, like he did last year. Uh, but he's just more confident and uh, more relaxed and just uh, having fun playing ball. Again, you know, when you're able to – uh, he, he knew going into last year that what he could do, but when you go and prove it, uh, now you can kind of come out here and work on the little things, uh, continue to get better, and, and he's showing that. And was there anything specifically that stood out to you um, in his rookie year that he excelled at that a lot of rookie receivers might struggle with? Yeah, I think just not, not letting the, the game be too big for him. You know, I think when he started to make plays and, and have some, uh, you know, a couple games in a row, sometimes guys uh, tend to get, you know, and maybe relax a little bit or or maybe get a little overconfident. He never did that. He just kept getting better and better and better and uh, week after week and, uh, you know, to finish the season like he did on a high note uh, and then be able to come in here and, and uh, you know, keep continuing to get better. I think that's impressive and, and why he's uh, had such a successful time so far. Ben and then Dave. Yeah, Adam, with uh, with Keenan McCardle so far, what have been the, the big things that he's tried to emphasize with you guys, especially you as you kind of enter the phase of your career where he really kind of showed a lot of longevity? What kinds of things has he passed along to you so far? Yeah, I think the big thing uh, with him is is he comes from a player perspective. You know, he played the game for a long time and, uh, you know, did it at a high level for a long time and, and has a lot of different experiences uh, within the game of football and in life um, that he can share with us. And, um, you know, sometimes uh, coaches come from a coach perspective, right? Uh, that, that's all they've ever done. It's not a bad thing. Um, it's just different. And he's bringing kind of a different side of the game that I've uh, never really had in a coach, a receiver's coach. Um, and I think uh, it's it's a really um, unique thing and, and uh, trying to pick that part of his of his brain. And it's been really good. And, and he also has the coach – um, you know, experience as well, um, where he's um, teaching fundamentals and um, teaching playbook and things like that, especially to these young guys and uh, getting them up to speed. So we kind of got best of both worlds, which is, is really fun um, as a receiver. Yeah, when he has that player's perspective, what kinds of things is he able to impart into what he coaches with you guys? Yeah, I think it, it's, um, you know, one of those things where, yeah, you, you teach technique, uh, but you also understand there's certain situations, uh, certain things that um, you know you don't want to say technique goes out the window. Uh, but but hey, you got to win, and he understands that part of it. Um, yes, we're gonna still coach technique. We're gonna say hey, you could have done this better. 
But at the end of the day, you got to win, and you got to win at the right time, and you have to be on the same page as the quarterback. So uh, those are the little things um, that he's really helped us with, and and looking forward to more time with him. Hey, hey, Adam. What you, back to Justin uh, for a second? What have you seen from him, like the way he's handled the increased attention, not just by defenses on the field, but um, you know, off the field, be, sort of becoming a star in the league. Well, he's a he's a personality, so that stuff's good for him. He likes it, so um, I I think it's uh, he's a guy that can handle that really well because he's got a a great personality. He's a fun guy. Um, he doesn't mind the attention on him. He's not gonna uh, shy away from it. So I I think uh, he does just such a great job of engaging with fans, um, really enjoying the process. Right. Uh, so many times uh, guys get into the business side of things and they forget that this is a game and. And, uh, you know, we, we've been playing this game since we were five years old. It's, it's a lot of fun. So he does such a great job of, of uh, having fun and doing what he's doing. How, um, real quick, too, how much have you improved your ability to do the gritty? <laughs> I think I have it down pretty good now. I've, uh, I, I had to go back and, you know, I saw Kirk talk to you guys last week. and He said he watched all of his games um, and, and tried to improve. Well, I watched all my gritty and uh, and tried to improve over the off season, so <laughs> it's getting better. We'll go Hobie, and then I believe Larry Fitzgerald. Hey Adam, you mentioned improving the gritty, but how how different is an off season now as kind of a seasoned veteran compared to maybe a few years ago? How do you treat things as you try to advance your game a little bit more uh, as you continue to to get older in your career? I Actually, uh, ex exactly the same. You know, I, I don't want to stray away from the things that got me here. Now, now does my off season look differently? Yes, because um, I'm always trying to improve. There's trying to, you know, the, the week after the season, I'm going and sitting down with, uh, you know, my uh, business partner and, and co-founder or and the founder of ETS, uh, Ryan Engelberg. I'm sitting down with him and figuring out a plan of how we can get better. And so our off season doesn't look the same, uh, but uh, but our approach is exactly the same. And uh, I feel that's the only way that um, I can continue to stay on top of my game and, and to gain ground. I don't want to just uh, stay at the same level. I want to just keep continuing to improve. And, um, you know, my body feels the best it's ever felt uh, because of, of that attack, I, I believe, and uh, continue to try to improve in, in all areas, whether it be um, performance, but also recovery, um, you know, kind of uh, nutrition. Uh, there's so many factors that go into it, and uh, it's it's uh, it's kind of something that's exciting for me to to dive into and to to try to improve on. Larry and then Courtney. Okay, you're still muted, Courtney. We'll go to you next. Larry, are we there? Yeah, I'm here. Can you hear me now? All right. Yeah, fire away. Adam, how are you? Good. Hey, what'd you shoot yesterday? <laughs> I'm not sure. Uh, I didn't play great, but I had a few birdies, so that was good. Well, we were talking about you later in the day. Hey, how's uh, knowing that, uh, you know, there's some changing in the division in terms of uh, the team that finished ahead of you? that could uh, have an impact on how you approach maybe this season? Is that how you look at it? You know, honestly, uh, don't even think about our division right now. You know, right now, just trying to focus on ourselves. Uh, personally, I'm trying to focus on myself. Uh, again, kind of the things I talked about of, of trying to make sure that I'm as prepared as I can possibly be, taking advantage of these OTAs, these mini camps, uh, practices to to continue to improve and work on the things that I know that I need to work on. So uh, right now is uh, and I I would think you know going into training camp is the same mindset. Hey, we got to focus on ourselves. We got to continue to get better and and then we take it one game at a time and, and see what happens at that point. Hey Adam, um, every year I feel like at this point we're talking about who's the wide receiver three on the Vikings, and it's this constant storyline. I'm wondering from the depth, from a depth perspective, the guys that are behind you and Justin, and maybe even the tight ends, what stood out to you about the way this offense can function with a third wide receiver, and you know how? What have you? I guess sort of what have your impressions been of that throughout training or throughout minicamp and OTAs? Yeah, you know I think at this time of the year. 
um, probably one of the you know most excited I've been about about that that fact. You know, we have a lot of different guys that can do a lot of different things. We got running backs that can play wide receiver. We got tight ends that can that can line up outside. We and we have a, a, a great depth of receivers and a lot of guys that can do a lot of different things. So um, I think we're in a great spot. Is that we obviously have a lot of work to do and um, and guys are going to have to make plays when when uh, preseason games come around, training camp practices come around. But uh, it's been a great start. Um, we got a lot of guys that love the game of football and that are continuing to try to get better and, and pick guys' brain like myself and, and, and Justin, guys that have, have done it um, at a high level. And, and uh, I think that's always fun for me to see guys that, that love the game and that want to get better um, and aren't just, you know, think that they already have made it and, and uh, you know, are, are the best of the best. So it's really fun to be around guys that want to continue to, to improve and do the little things that it takes to do that. We'll do three three questions for Adam. We'll do Craig, Chris, and then Andrew. Hey Adam, I was uh, curious as to what has been your impression of going against the more veteran presence at corner, particularly with what uh, Patrick Peterson has has brought the way he approaches an offseason program that can kind of have have ways of effect either for the corners or for receivers that go against him. Yeah, he's, he's definitely making me better uh, and challenging me and and uh, making me mad because he's <laughs> breaking up balls and things like that. But uh, uh, I think it's great. Uh, obviously, it makes me dial in my game and, and really focus and, and uh, be attentive to detail. Uh, when you're going against guys that have done it at a high level, uh, made tons of Pro Bowls, made tons of plays in this league, uh, you can't just go out there and run a route. Uh, you got to be extremely detailed and focused on what you're doing. And um, I'm just thankful he's here. Uh, to make me better and, and the other guys in this team better. Oh, hey, Adam, hope all is well. What's your take on the Vikings bringing back Sheldon Richardson today and just overall how much uh, the defense has been beefed up during the offseason? Yeah, it was fun to see a few of those guys uh, today, um, seeing them in the locker room and guys I haven't seen in a long time. And, and obviously, uh, great personalities. I, I love to talk with him, and, and my locker's next to him now, so uh, it's kind of fun to see him and, and uh, catch up a little bit. But um, yeah, just a ton of guys that we've been able to bring in, and uh, this, like I said before, this coaching staff and uh, management um, has done a, such a great job of bringing in a bunch of talented guys that are creating depth and competition and, and, uh, and just leadership. Uh, it's, it's exciting, you know, and, and uh, I tell people this all the time when they ask me off the field, you know, out, out and about, they ask me, you know, how are you guys looking this year? I'm like, well, every year I'm excited at this time of year, but uh, I truly uh, can feel confident in saying this is the most excited I've been in a long time. Uh, but does that mean that you're going to have success? No, uh, you got to go out there and prove it. And, and that's what we're trying to do. Last question to Andrew. Hey, Adam, I'd asked Harrison this as well, but I just wanted to get the player perspective on the team holding seminars regarding the vaccines and just what you make of the messaging so far. Yeah, they've done a, a good job of informing us, um, keeping us informed, keeping us up to date with the, the protocols and uh, kind of what's going on and, and uh, with the CDC and, and what the recommendations are. Um, if, if we want more information, we're able to get it. Um, they're, do, they're doing a great job of just communicating, communicating with us and um, you know, kind of just giving us resources to uh, make informed decisions. Are you vaccinated or where do you fall on that? I'm not. Not at this moment, no. And then I also asked Harrison this, but how do you go about making an informed decision on that? Well, like I said, you know, they're doing a great job of continuing to educate us, uh, giving us resources and, um, you know, and then and then kind of giving us uh, the option to, to make that informed decision for our personal, uh, where we're at personally and, and uh, go from there.